Hey everybody, hope everybody's having a good day today. So today we're going to talk about field of vision, or FOV. What is field of vision? Well, it's a field of vision. It's kind of like eyesight. So I'm going to show you a few examples. So it's basically eyesight of an object. You can see this lady here. The B button can be pressed, can't be pressed, can be pressed, can't be pressed. That's field of vision, sir, eyesight. So I'm in the field of vision here, out of the field of vision here. I'm in and out, in and out. All right, let's look at another example of field division. I have a field division on the right, right here. And when I'm in the field division, I can uh, make it make the player leave. Okay, let's look at another example of what you can do with field division. So I put a field division on an item on the floor. When I'm in the field of vision, it's going to gravitate towards me, like a magnet. See? And that's the coin magnet that we made, coin magnet item you can equip. So there's lots of neat stuff you can do with field of vision. Alright, so let's make a new object. And uh, you can see this cog in the top right. Click on the cog. Yes. Oh, you got some extra stuff over here. You didn't know about that, did you? Okay. So uh, where is the field division? I should know this. I'm like an expert. Okay. So there's field division and lighting. So you just check it. Hit OK. There you go. You got it right here. Hit that button right there. So, you know, you got your name. I'm going to put Field of Vision 64. Uh, the switch. When that switch is on, then uh, the field of vision to be on. So what I do is I have a switch called always on in my resources and it's always on. It's a global switch. It's not a local switch. Uh, which means I can pretty much use it anytime I want. It's always on. Alright, so this is the radius around it. You now you can make the change the colors of the light and all that stuff. Uh, generally you put it on center of the object you can use a connection point but you better have a connection point on your animation or it's not going to show up so I just put it on center for the most part uh, you can see the the field of vision the eye, you can actually see the eyesight if this is checked right here so let's check it and then uh, so you can see what it looks like Okay, you can see here, this is the actual object with field of vision. And that is the eyesight, basically. So if you walk into that eyesight, you can make something happen. If you walk out of it, you make something happen when, it, when you walk out of it. Alright. So, you can turn this on and off right here. And that will actually disable that light that white light so you can't actually see the eyesight you probably want to leave it on for testing especially if you're if you're just learning you want to leave that on but uh, you take it off when you're done so you can't actually see it all right now let's make something happen when you walk into the field division and then let's make something happen when you walk out of the field division So I've got a little object here. And I've got a mouse that doesn't work right. 
Okay. Hit that. Copy and paste it. Make sure it's centered. Because I like the way I, like, I do like that. Alright. So, link condition. Discovered other objects. When using that to the vision we just made. When it discovers all objects, player group, enemy group, whatever. Or a specific object. We're going to make it detect the player. When the field division sees the player. Simple. Easy peasy. I'm going to copy that. Paste it back. So it's going to go from 1. Sorry, you're going to go from 0 to 1. When it when, uh, discovers the player. And then click this right here. Now what that does is it reverses. Anything you do, it puts it in reverse. So let's say... Zero is going to discover the player. And go to one. Now when he doesn't discover the player, it's going to go back to zero. You can do this with switches, whatever. You now if this is a switch on, uh, clicking this button would make it switch off. It reverses the conditions. You, you got to use that. Really, really, really helpful. Okay, so nothing's it's going to start here. Default. So let's put like a little sound or something. Actually, let's put a message. All right, now let's try that. All right, so I turned off that little light so you can actually see the eyesight. So let's see what happens when you walk into it. Shows you the message. Now, this is a really good technique right here using the discovered thing discover an eyesight and then copy and pasting it back with the, the link like this all right so let's take it another, another step further just a little bit let's put if you're in the field division and you press the OK button all right so I'm gonna turn this back on so we can see the field division then I made a little animation and all I really did here was put OK on press and discovered the player with the field division. OK, you can see here we got the field division turned back on so you can actually see the eyesight. We're going to walk into it, nothing happens. Because we are in the eyesight but we didn't press the X button. So we have two different conditions there, being in the eyesight and pressing the X button. So as soon as I press the X button, both conditions are met and then uh, it does the message that's the X button so there you go pretty simple yes your field division we made the field division right here then we made it so you can you can detect the player and then it make it undetect the player and then we made it so you could press a button when you're in it and it would talk okay and you could do an audio sound there or whatever you know um by the way this radius right here is the, is the uh how big the eyesight is so you put it on like this much he's gonna see the whole freaking screen which is probably a bit too much i think um yeah about 32 is usually good for most games or 64 is pretty good for most games um if you want to cover the whole screen, probably 128 or 200 or something is probably good. Alright, so we got a cute little cat game here that we're making. And, uh, don't sit, I didn't tell you to sit. Okay, so, you can see the field of vision right here in front of the cat. Right there. Right there. Don't touch it. Okay, so, when you touch it, oh, move object pops up on the screen. And I can move it around it over here Ta-da! so that's something advanced you can do probably the first person to make that on this engine I think um, so as you can see field division is great there is tons of things you can do with it there's probably nothing you can't do with it 
Oh. And also, it can check. You can check. Or move. And that's just playing around with uh, being in the field division, basically. Now, what are some other uses for field division? Well, as you can see here, the cat got a package. And the package had a field division on it. So when he was in the field division, or she was in the field division, uh, you press the button and you get the item. And it's not just people you can talk to, you can also use it for objects. Mailboxes, people, whatever. You can use it for save points. You can use it for signs. You can even use it for candlelight dinners. Now I just gotta find another cat to go on a date with. What about Cool Cat? Can I go on a date with Cool Cat? Hey Cool Cat, are you in the field of vision? So yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can do. If you want to know anything specifically, put it in the comments below and I'll respond. Or if you'd like to see something new, uh, we could do that. I'll probably get into the more advanced field division later on in future tutorials. So make sure you subscribe. I want to give Jmonius a thank you for introducing me to Phil Division about a year or two ago he first showed it to me and I was like what in the f is this and then I was like are you serious it can do all this stuff it's magic it is pure magic so if there's anything I didn't cover on Phil Division you want to see put it in the description below now let's get this going you have a good one.